experience that allows you to do just that. Stand and Stare Editions is a new exhibition which is based completely online. It was created in Hackney and its founder, James Diggle, joins me now to explain it all. Good afternoon. Now, first of all, let's just talk about this exhibition. What, what is it and why did you bring it together? It's, um, it's an online gallery. Uh, we sell limited edition prints of photographers' work. Um, we're looking to support emerging photographers, um, especially in London, um, and give them an opportunity to reach their audience, um, really. So we... Um, we are looking to represent a diverse range of different sort of photography styles, effectively. And why did you feel the need to... Do you, I mean, there's a lot of gallery space available yeah. in London. Uh, why do you feel that, that this needs to cater to emerging talent? Is it hard for people to get to their work anywhere else? Yeah, there's a lot of... Um, obviously, there's a lot of major galleries out there that support a very small number of photographers, typically, in a sort of pyramid scheme. So if you're very famous, you get represented by a big gallery, and they might sell sort of ten copies of a print of yours for quite a lot of money. And we wanted to offer photographers um, that don't have that opportunity because it's quite an elitist world a place to sell their work effectively. So um, we um, offer more editions, like 200 copies of each print typically, at a lower price so that people can um, really gain access to exciting photography. These are original photographers doing um, sort of groundbreaking stuff, if you will. Um, but yeah, to, to sort of give them a platform in that respect. And what sort of photographers have you got in this exhibition this time around? Oh, all sorts of people, um, right through from sort of graduates who are looking for a place to sell their uh, photography through to established um, street photographers from uh, Mexico. We've got photographers in New York and Vancouver um, from all sorts of different backgrounds. So typically you might have a fashion photographer who's quite successful and they might be, um, you know, widely printed in the press but then they don't have a platform currently to sell prints, so it's a great opportunity to pick up um, a print, so someone's work effectively that's never been available for sale before to have it on your wall at home, basically. And how do you discover these, these emerging photographers, then? Uh, the internet's an absolute blessing. <laughs> um, I mean, part of what we're looking to do is liberate photos from places like Instagram and the screen. We really believe in the, the benefits of looking at photography on the wall at home, and it's, um, we're looking for, for prints that reward... Uh, repeat viewing essentially so there's an artistic um, merit to, to some of this photography if you will because it's it maybe goes a little bit beyond um, just a, a sort of nice sunset and there's often a little element of intrigue in our pictures or um, some interesting composition involved that might make you think a bit more but we find the photographers on Instagram we've got um, a submission group on Flickr if you got if anyone wants to go to Flickr and um, if you search in the groups for stand and stare you can send us 10 photographs and uh, we're always on the hunt for, for new, exciting uh, photographers, basically. And if people want to see this exhibition, it's online now and it's stand and stare. Is that the best way to, to find it? Yeah, it's a gallery. We feature new photographers all the time, and it's a rolling opportunity, really, to discover some interesting stuff for your wall. OK, James, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. Our new campaign aimed at...